Hello everyone, this is part 1 video on uh, past year need questions from uh, the chapter chemistry in everyday life. Now this is mostly a theory based chapter where uh, we have to focus on uh, the uh, common names and uh, the uh, IUPAC names as well as structures of uh, various uh, compounds that are either used as antibiotics, antiseptics, anti uh, histamines and so on and so forth. So we have various uh, compounds that are used in uh, everyday life. So we have to uh, go through the aspects of structures, common names and IUPAC names of these compounds. So we'll take a look at uh, the questions that have come in the past years. This is a question that has come in uh, NEED 2019. Among the following, the narrow spectrum antibiotic is. All the four options given are uh, basically the antibiotics. We have uh, amoxicillin and ampicillin, penicillin G which is uh, one of the old uh, types of uh, the penicillins and uh, chloramphenicol. So all these four are uh, antibiotics and if you look at uh, what is uh, the narrow spectrum antibiotic. There are two types of antibiotics. One is uh, the narrow spectrum antibiotic and second is the broad spectrum antibiotics. Narrow spectrum uh, antibiotics are basically active against a select group of bacterial types. Now we will use it when uh, the bacterial type is clear. Whereas broad spectrum antibiotics are active against a wider number of bacterial types and uh, they can be used to treat a variety of uh, infectious diseases. So the broad spectrum antibiotics are particularly useful when uh, the infecting agent or the bacteria is unknown and uh, when you look at uh, the uh, examples of uh, the narrow spectrum antibiotics we have the older penicillins including penicillin G and uh, macrolides and uh, vanzomycin all of them are uh, the narrow spectrum uh, antibiotics so the correct answer for this is option B which is uh, penicillin now the other three options given over here amoxicillin and uh, ampicillin as well as uh, chloramphenicol all of them are broad spectrum antibiotics we have even a uh, couple of more examples of the broad spectrum uh, antibiotics including uh, aminoglycosides and uh, the second and third generation uh, cephalosporins as well as uh, phenolones and some synthetic uh, penicillins are also broad spectrum antibiotics so maybe uh, you can take a look at uh, the entire list of examples for uh, the narrow spectrum antibiotics and uh, broad spectrum antibiotics while you are preparing for the uh, chemistry in everyday life chapter. We will go on to the next question. This is a question that has come in uh, the Odisha paper NEET 2019. The artificial sweetener stable at cooking temperature and does not provide calories is. Now all the four given over here are uh, artificial uh, sweeteners. Saccharines and uh, allitane, these two are deep sweeteners. Now, if you look at the other two, sucralose and uh, aspartame, sucralose with uh, the formula C12H19Cl3O8 will be the one that will be stable at cooking temperature and uh, still does not provide the calories. Aspartame will be stable only at cold temperatures. So, the correct answer for this is sucralose. We will move on to the next question. This is again a question that has come in uh, the Odisha paper uh, 2019. Liquefied gas that is used in dry cleaning along with suitable detergent. CO2 uh, when it is liquefied, uh, when the pressure is released it will turn into gas and uh, along with the suitable uh, detergent it is used for the dry cleaning purposes. So the correct answer for this is option D which is uh, CO2. We look at a question that has come in NEET 2017. A mixture of chloroxylenol and uh, terpeniol acts as. Now, uh, if you look at uh, the mixture of chloroxylenol and uh, alpha terpeniol, is actually detol. The uh, structures of uh, chloroxylenol and uh, alpha terpeniol are given over here 
and uh, the combination of these two will be the Dettol which is a very common antiseptic agent. So the correct answer for this is antiseptic. We will go to the question that has come in uh, the paper 1 of uh, NEAT 2016. Which of the following is an analgesic? Now if you look at the options given over here, other than Novalgin, all the remaining three options are actually uh, antibiotics. Penicillin, Chloromycetin, Streptomycin. All the three are antibiotics. Novalgin is actually commercial name for uh, metamizol which is used as a, a painkiller and uh, to provide the relief from uh, fever as well as uh, for giving anti-inflammatory effects. So analgesic is basically a substance that is used uh, to provide relief uh, from the pain as well as from the fever and anti-inflammatory effect. So this is uh, option C which is uh, Novalgin. It is a commercial name for uh, metamizole uh, which is having a structure over here. We look at the question that has come in NEET 2015 cancelled paper. Bithionol is generally added to the soaps as an additive to function as. Now, bithionol uh, is uh, added to soaps to impart antiseptic properties and uh, even to reduce the order produced by the bacterial decomposition of organic matter on the skin. So the correct answer for this is uh, antiseptic. Bithionol is used uh, uh, as an additive to soap to function as an antiseptic. So this is again a question related to the artificial sweetener. Artificial sweetener which is stable under cold conditions only. As we already discussed in one of the previous question, the option for this will be aspartame. So the uh, formula for aspartame will be C14H18N2O5 and uh, the structure is uh, given over here. This uh, will be stable only under the uh, cold conditions and uh, we have seen uh, in one of the previous questions that uh, sucralose will be uh, stable even at the cooking temperature. So the correct answer for this is uh, aspartame which is stable only at cold conditions. This is the question that has come in me 2013. Antiseptics and disinfectants either kill or prevent the growth of microorganisms. Identify which of the following statements is uh, not true. So if you look at the options, option A, dilute solutions of boric acid and hydrogen peroxide act as strong antiseptic. Now, this is incorrect. Dilute solutions of boric acid and hydrogen peroxide act as a mild antiseptic. It will not be able to act as a strong antiseptic. It will be able to act as a mild antiseptic. So the answer for this will be straight away option A because uh, we have only one option to choose. But we can take a look at the uh, other three options as well. Now disinfectant option B is a disinfectant they harm living tissues which is correct. Option C 0 0.2 solution of phenol is antiseptic whereas if we increase the concentration little bit a 1% solution will be acting as a disinfectant that is true about the phenol. If we increase the uh, concentration of uh, phenol from uh, the 0.2 to 1%, then we will see that the solution is going to be acting as a disinfectant. Option B, chlorine and iodine are used as strong disinfectant. Yes, chlorine and iodine, they are the strong disinfectant. So the one which is uh, not true is option A, which is uh, the dilute solutions of boric acid and hydrogen peroxide. They are giving it a strong antiseptic, but actually it will be a mild antiseptic. We will go on to the question that has come in NEET 2013 Karnataka paper. That all is a mixture of. Already we saw the uh, answer to this question before in one of the previous uh, questions. The mixture of uh, chloroxylenol and uh, alpha terpeniol. So the structures are these will be that all. This is a question that has come in uh, the mains paper 2012. Chloramphenicol is. Now this also has come as one of the options in the previous questions. And we saw that uh, this is actually a broad spectrum.
antibiotic. So we have to identify uh, what is the nature of this substance and uh, the answer would be it's a uh, broad spectrum antibiotic. So the chemical uh, formula for uh, chloramphenicol is uh, C11 H12 Cl2 N2O5 and uh, the structure is given over here. This will be able to act as an broad spectrum antibiotic and uh, it will be able to uh, treat various uh, things like you know the uh, conjunctivitis for the eye and uh, it is also uh, given by mouth or injection into the vein and uh, used to uh, treat uh, various uh, diseases like plague, cholera, typhoid fever etc. So this is an antibiotic that can be used uh, uh, as a broad spectrum antibiotic. So the correct answer for this is option D which is the antibiotic broad spectrum. We will go to the question that has come in 2011 paper. Which one of the following is employed as antihistamine? Now first we look at what are these antihistamines. Antihistamines are the drugs which treat allergic rhinitis as well as other types of allergies. Now, typically people take these antihistamines uh, to provide relief from uh, nasal congestion, sneezing, hives caused by the pollen, dust and even animal allergy and uh, side effects. The uh, compound uh, diphenylhydramine with the formula C17H21NO and uh, structure given over here is uh, a very popular uh, antihistamine that is used to relieve the symptoms of allergy, hay fever and common cold. So the correct answer for this is uh, option B which is uh, diphenylhydramine. 